lovelies. Welcome. I'm so glad you could be with me today. I am going to be doing a pick a card reading today, just doing some channeled messages from source, from spirit um, for you. Okay, so this is for those of you who may want a special message today, who might be undergoing some challenges or struggles lately. And I'm really sorry if you are, guys, because I know everybody has a story. Everybody's got something going on. And um, yeah, it's nice to just receive a really, you know, beautiful message at times that you may need to hear today. If you don't need to hear it, that's fine. If it's not resonating, that's fine. Hopefully you'll get something out of it. Um, otherwise, you can try other videos or come back another time, guys. Now, I wanted to say thank you too also for those of you who reached out to me. And um, as I wasn't feeling very well, I'm still kind of recovering. Um, but... Yes, I was going to be doing the Twin Flame Tarot this week. I just wasn't capable of doing it energy-wise. Um, but hopefully next week I'll get it up and running again. And yeah, I just felt really drawn to doing this one today for you guys. So it's not specifically about love. It can be, you know, you'll know what it means for you in your life, okay? Um, and there's going to be probably many messages coming through per reading. Um, so take what resonates, leave what doesn't, as the saying goes. Um, and yeah, as I said, hopefully you'll get some kind of healing message through this for you. Spirit is with you, by the way. They want you to know that they're by your side, walking beside you. And it might always feel, you know, sometimes you might feel like you're alone, that you've been abandoned by spirit, but they are with you. They listen to you. They talk to you. And they try to show you signs that they're there. So it's just about paying attention to those signs around you, that they are definitely with you. They want you to know this, okay? I was editing, I did a video before and, and something happened in it and I had to restart again, but there was these orbs as I was saying this, just flying right through the camera. It was amazing. So it was just confirmation. I probably should not have deleted it, but they are with you, seriously with you. Um, and they're leaving signs for you. So pay attention to that. I know I just repeated myself, but it's like they want to get that into your mind. Okay, did I just see one? I think I just saw a few orbs just then. <laughs> they are making themselves known to you guys, I'm telling you. So thank you, Spirit, for coming through and showing your loved ones here who are watching this video that you're with them because they need to know this. They need to know. And... Um, yeah, so hopefully I'll get some beautiful channeled messages today that make sense to you. So we've got reading number one here, which is love, the number 28. We've got reading number two, which is temptation, which is number 19. You might want to choose by the, the title of the cards or the numbers or the illustrations, whatever you like to do. You can choose more than one if you wish to. Um, so we will get started shortly, guys. Hi guys, you chose reading number one. Okay, I'm getting a very, very lonely feeling, like a, a heartbreak here. I'm feeling in my heart chakra as I'm looking at this and, and just as I was doing that, I was just feeling right there in the heart chakra, okay? Which is right in the middle of the chest. Uh, is our heart chakra and I'm feeling really really pained I feel like it's either now I'm going through pain I'm talking about you guys as me channeling um, I'm talking as if I'm you like I feel like I'm now undergoing some really hurt like raw hurt right in the middle of the chest here it's kind of sitting there okay so maybe it needs to be released somehow or purged Maybe it's uh, past pain now coming up for us, okay? So maybe there's been a trigger. Maybe there's been a breakdown of a relationship. Maybe there's a real pining or missing somebody, okay? And feeling brokenhearted. And it could be to do with an intimate connection, a love, okay? A soulmate or twin flame. Could be family related. Could be anything. You know, any relationship that means or has meant a lot to you. Um, feeling like maybe blindsided for somebody, maybe broken hearted to the, you know, with the point of, um, what am I seeing here? Like a betrayal, like being blindsided, uh, in some way. Um, maybe somebody, you know, I'm getting like a jilted lover. I'm getting a feeling, um, that some of you might've just been like ghosted. You didn't see something coming. 
and there's just been a cutoff, okay? So whether you've had to do that or someone else, but it just feels like there's a bit of shock here as well. So it does remind me of like the Ten of Swords in the Tarot where something suddenly has happened very fast, maybe a very fast ending to something that you weren't seeing um, happen or it's just almost like you're being left out in the cold having to feel with this raw emotion. So whether it's happened right now or it was something in the past, it's it's rearing its ugly head, okay? And it's it's making itself known to you because it wants to be released. So when we have pain, um, sometimes we try to push it away or we push it down. We don't want to deal with it. It's uncomfortable. We don't want to feel it. Um, we don't want to have to go through the motions. We don't want to cry. We just want to get on with life and, and be in denial, okay? We don't want to be in denial, but that's usually what happens is we become in denial because we just don't want to face it. Um... <clears throat> Or accept, okay, sometimes what has happened. Sometimes we try so hard to analyze it and work out why, the whys. And sometimes we don't get the answers we need or seek or, or want uh, or even need, you know, because sometimes people just don't want to give us the answers for whatever reason. It might, you know, seem very cold and callous um, as to why something happened or why they betrayed us or why they just abandoned us or why did they, you know... Uh, for some of you embrace you so beautifully and then just let you go like that so there's a lot of unanswered questions here I feel for some of you and there's a feeling of being a little lost because there is this confident person within you so whether you're male or female doesn't matter okay this is just the energy I'm seeing with you is that uh, for some of you this person you know your person whether it be love or relationship, family, whatever, have painted you out to be someone that you're not. So it might have been that you felt that they were, you know, loving you, embracing you, and have now turned it around that you're the bad one, okay? This is only going to resonate with some of you. As I said, there's many messages for people here. Um, it could be literally that s someone gave you jewellery and now you are holding that and looking at things that have been given to you and it's very painful. You might put it away in a drawer, you might wear it, you might want to get rid of it. You know, there's all sorts of mixed emotions going on here. Some of you might have found out that your person is not who they made themselves out to be. Uh, they might have had someone else on the side. If it's a love relationship, they might have been talking about you gossiping you know there could be different things just it feels like a, a stab in the back for some of you feeling very blindsided didn't see this put your trust in this person you opened your heart to this person and it really shook you to your core when this happened so spirit want you to know how beautiful you are you are a beautiful soul as i said male or female doesn't matter like as a being you are so beautiful and you didn't deserve that that kind of treatment you know, we need to look at these things as a lesson and move on somehow. Um, we need to be able to... It's very hard. Sometimes we just don't get the closure. Sometimes we don't get the answers and it's annoying. And I've been in that position where you feel so blindsided and, and so attacked by somebody and you just didn't see it coming and you're like, what the hell? Why would they do this to me? I have been so loving, so generous, so kind and trusting um, with this person and given them all, my all, my all, my everything, and they have just basically, you know, spat on me. So that's what this feels like for this person I'm reading for, that you've gone and done everything for this person to be treated like crap. And this is a lesson for you to stand up for yourself and to say, hell no, I ain't going to be treated like this. I don't deserve it. I know I don't deserve it. And I know that I'm worth way more than what this person has treated me like. And I'm not going to allow them, give them the power anymore to make me feel less than. So it's about remembering, okay? Spirit want to remind you of the powerful being that you are. That you do have a beautiful, loving heart. And to it's not to be wasted, you know. Don't think that, okay, I'm going to close my heart down now and never love again. Because this person has that much power over you. You know, it's kind of like uh, squashing uh, the true you. It's it's dulling, what am I saying? Dimming your light. So don't ever allow anybody to do that. Don't give them that much power where they have, you know, where they're able to, uh, you know, well, you know, damage you, but to the point of not being able to pick yourself up and 
be your true self and, and extend that love out to someone else or to others, right? To others. Sometimes we can't immediately do that and that's fine. We have to, we have to sit back. We have to gather ourselves and, and look within and try and, you know, move through the emotions, try and understand them. But, and initially we're not going to be able to give, you know, sometimes people just can't forgive or give themselves to anyone else uh, or open up or trust again. And that's fair enough too. Um, but you don't want to be closed off to the point where that pain and everything and, and the and resentments or bitterness can grow and to the point where you're making yourself you know sick in this you want to be able to release it and become strong you know be that strong person you are and not give that person that power over you so this is just a strong message for some of you who have felt that way because you do have a lot of love to give and you you do have a lot of love to give to the right person now the person that d did that to you could actually you know go on to learn their lessons and in some cases come back and apologize and mean it and there could be some kind of healing between you but for the majority of you i feel like this is over red rover like this is something that was a karmic lesson for you and you can choose to either repeat the cycle with this person or you can cut the tie and say well no thanks you know thanks but no thanks i've learned my lesson and you've really helped me to um reflect on my own worth and my own values and who I am as a person and I don't need that anymore in my life and now I know what to look for what not to look for uh, in a person you know relationship friendship whatever it might be in the future um, so some of you might have to if, if it's a family member for instance you might have to just keep your distance and put up boundaries um, but it's yeah it's definitely taught you some things and, and shown you the true colors of this person um, so the, the word keeps coming up blindsided. Like, I feel like a lot of you just did not see this coming. Um, and yeah, it's really shocked you. So just remember there are good people out there who will not do this to you. And this is only going to help you to grow stronger and more wiser. Okay. And use your discernment even more clearly because you are a loving being, you know, that you are a good person and you didn't deserve this crap. But at the same time, it's teaching you a lot about yourself, what you won't put up with, what you will put up with, okay? We treat, we, what's the words? We teach people how to treat us. So if you keep going back to this, this person's going to keep treating you that way because that's just what they're used to doing. Oh, okay, this person, they're going to think, okay, so I've hurt this person. They've been pissed off for a while and upset, but now they, tr they forgive me and now I can come back in. And if I do it again, they'll just keep doing the same thing. And I've been there, believe me, it's, it's a shit cycle to be in, excuse my language. But yeah, it is a serious, horrible place to be in when you allow yourself to be in that cycle with someone who's, who is, you know, showing toxic behaviours. Um, like that so it doesn't matter who they are and sometimes especially if they're a spouse um, lover whatever twin flame even can treat us in you know I know people debate upon, upon debate upon this I'm trying to talk um, but I believe that he, twin flames are still human at the end of the day and they can really be nasty at times based on their own fears and rejections and their own shadow uh, and that inner child that needs work, they can both, they can still lash out and hurt you in some way. But this is, this does real, really feel like some kind of karmic connection here. There's a karmic thing anyway, an element to this. Um, and sometimes it's hard to, you know, cut the tie fully to family, but boundaries do need to be put in place for sure. Um, let's have a look at what else spirit want you to know right now, okay? Because they definitely want you to remember who you are as a loving being before this even happened. So we've got longing, aching, pining, past love. So yes, this definitely could be a love connection for a lot of you. There is this, maybe in this pain, you're still longing for this person. You're still pining for them. And, and you do have a very long history, perhaps. Um, or there has been a very strong bond, like a soul bond. Okay, so... Um, yes, there's this, there's this cycle of, um, sometimes hating the person and then loving them at the same time. And it's, it's very painful, very, very crazy in some ways with the mixed emotions. And that's what makes it so hard to let go as well. But it is a process. And as they say, 
you know, that was, I don't know what that was, but there's, um, yeah, it's definitely a process. So, yes, and it feels like this person doesn't want to let you go. But you don't want to be drawn into that cycle again. So for some for some of you, it could be that you've had to, you know, go through the cycle again and again until you finally get it. Um, and by that time, sometimes we can get numb. So it's about just keeping in, keeping in check with yourself, okay? Check in with yourself. How are you feeling? Are you grounded? Are you... Don't make any rash decisions straight away whilst confused, okay? Take some time out for yourself. Surround yourself with good people. And um, and look, the illuminated path, spirit is helping you to see the truth. They're trying to illuminate to you what it is that you need to know, what the answers are around this situation, this person. Because sometimes we can be told something, we can even see it with our own eyes or, or have suspicions and we still don't want to believe it, okay? But spirit are helping you to see the truth, okay, about this this relationship about who you are okay showing you the light actually what they're doing is illuminating your own light okay spirit wants you to remember who you are now 28 9 10 Tens are all about the beginnings, okay? It's all about the cycle coming to an end and a new beginning. Well, usually the nines are the cycle coming to an end and the, and the one is a new beginning, okay? So something is yet still to be formed in a new path here. Uh, spirit want to help you see a new pathway out of this. Sacred breath and sound, life force, communication. So beautiful. So communication throat chakra might be blocked right now. They're trying to bring it to life again through sound, through sound therapy perhaps. Look, there's the 10. <laughs> what did we just say? So this is a 10-10. Ten, ten. If you're seeing the numbers 10-10, ten, ten, I want to get that. Where is it? Where is it? I put my angel book somewhere. I know I had it. Oh, my beautiful little ragdoll. My cat is lying on it right now. Let's have a look at 1010 just quickly because this has come up for you. Very interesting numbers. So 1010 says right here, you are on the cusp of something miraculous. Trust that God and angels are one and are with you now. God and the angels are with you now, illuminating the pathway for you to know what to do around the situation, okay? How to heal it, how to break free from it. Um, because even if you're not in the connection, you might not want anything to do with it, but you, you're still holding on or some aspect is still there that's making you uh, maybe fearful to let go as well for some of you. Because 21, that's the end of the cycle. That's the world in the tarot. And the 10 in the tarot is the destiny card so you know it's also good luck being able to um, move towards positive things in your life because you've learned the lessons you've come to completion now interesting yes so it could be that you need sound therapy as well you need to remember to breathe a lot of you are holding your breath make a difference okay so my inner light look at that shines far and wide some of you need uh, salt water therapy you might need to go to the beach and just even if you don't get in the water, just breathe in the, like, see, sacred breath. Dolphins here. This is the ocean. So you need to be near salt water. You need to be able to um, meditate upon the waves, okay, as they're coming in and out. It's the ebb and flow. It's the emotion. Water is emotion. Allow yourself to cry. Some of you are holding back on that too. Um, because we don't want to get into those kinds of feelings. We don't want to have to feel it, you know, because when we start crying, it becomes even more um, magnified then. It makes it real. Look at that star. Oh, I love this. This is the star. So this is about hope and faith and inspiration. There's the light again. See, spirit are telling you that we're with you. So they might even you might even see like a, a really beautiful, bright sky a uh, bright star in the sky and I mean there's so many <laughs> like you couldn't see them but the thing is they're letting you know that wish upon a star open up to all the possibilities because at the moment things might seem bleak you might be limiting your uh, possibilities in your mind at the moment okay because that's what happens when we're in a, in a dark sad place um, but there's a way out that's what I'm hearing there's a way out and they want to help you realize that you can make a difference 
in this situation in others lives as well because there might be a self-esteem issue here as well that's you know you might have lost your confidence because that's what can happen in these situations when someone has hurt us um, definitely makes us lose our confidence and, and questions our self-worth but you are a shining star okay in someone's life you can make a difference as well and focused intention, Diana, beautiful, look at this. So think about what you desire. Set your sights high, expect the best possible outcome. Wish upon a star, look up, okay, look up to the vastness of the universe. It's not looking down and, and focused on the limitations. Look up, dream big, think big, focused intention on, and focus on what it is that you want to be. What, what, where do you want to be? Where do you see yourself where you want to be right now? could be something just very, very simple, okay, of wanting to, to feel relief, that there's, that you don't have to feel this heaviness on your chest anymore. Look in a book. Whatever your question right now, you'll find the answer in a book. The words you find will bring the insight you seek. So this is about the signs that spirit are trying to tell you as well. You might be drawn to a book, you know, you might find one, someone might lend you one and say you need to read this. There's something in a book, could be a Bible, could be poetry, could be anything, okay, that you need to see right now. What I like to do is get a book and close my eyes and open up to a page and I might say left or right in my mind or wherever my eyes land on, that's the paragraph I'll read or the, or the sentence. And that is what you need to hear and need to read right now. So let me see what this one says. Love life. Affairs of the heart could cause future problems, but take heart as difficult situations will be resolved by a good decision this week. Things are turning in your favour with that destiny card right now. So hold out hope, guys, with that star card. That's the end one. But it's interesting because this is saying that, you know, there has been or may be issues in your love life. But things will be resolved by a good decision. So things are turning in your favour. Depending on what you do, I guess, too. And, uh, wow, wheeze. These came flying out, didn't they? That's right. <laughs> now I remember. Had to restart it. What is your message, group one? What's your last message today? Bring back the energy. Look at this mermaid by the ocean. I'm seriously telling you. It's like spirit is saying you need to get out near water. You need to submerge yourself in water, most likely salt water. Um, you know, salt water therapy, whatever it might be. Swim in the ocean. Um, even have a bubble bath with Epsom salts, whatever it might be. Bring back and cleanse your energy because at the moment there might be depletion. See how she's looking down. So you could be looking down. You need to look up. You need to expand your energy. And it's interesting this glow around the... Well, it looks like sacral and solar, but it's a solar plexus, which is all about the energy center. It's about our confidence and, and strive, you know, to move forward and succeed in life. So you're going to bounce back is what I'm hearing. Okay, guys. So I really hope that's resonated with you today and um, hope you got something out of this and that it's helped you in some way. And um, we are all creators, okay? So you have the ability and the power to create your future. So don't let anyone else dictate to you how things need to be um, or you even give someone too much power over you, okay? Because you are a very strong person that can actually bounce back and set your sight on your goals and, and what you want to draw into your life and it'll come in guys so it's just about replenishing your energies right now and getting back recovery is a huge process um, but you will soon bounce back and be headed in the right direction because spirit is helping to guide you through the darkness i hope this has helped guys i love you all and i look forward to connecting with you next time love and blessings hello group two welcome guys i'm glad you could be with me today I'm just going to see, my tummy's going at the moment, but we're going to see what messages are coming through for you, okay, regarding this card, Temptation. Mm. 
And as I said before, I think in the intro, I can't remember now, but um, there could be more than, you know, a fair few messages that come through meaning different things. So some might resonate, some might not, but just take what does because everybody's going through a different journey. Yes. So it's interesting we got the two candles here. This is what's drawing me in first up, okay? The, the two flames here, the two candles, which you could call twin flames even, um, have been blown out, okay? The candles have been blown out. And so it could be that a love has died or some kind of energy or spark, even within you, has, um, has diminished, okay? Maybe even in a relationship right now. There could be a twin flame that you're being called, okay, to woods right now, or a soulmate, doesn't matter the label so much, but it's talking about another person that you're feeling very magnetized and drawn to and have a yearning and an urge to be with, a longing perhaps, meeting up in dreams, meeting up at night, could be someone in the spirit world who you love that you're connecting with. There's a real temptation, and what that temptation is, is a desire, it's basically a desire to move from one situation which doesn't seem to, you know, ideal or it could appear very bleak and dull and boring and to something much more fulfilling and tantalizing. And, you know, this could be seen in so many ways. I'm saying it's relationship based, but it doesn't have to be. Okay, that's just, as I said, one message for someone that they may be feeling that they want to put the spark out or the fire out in a particular connection or maybe a way of thinking and they want to uh, embrace where they feel they need to be. So for some of you, it is um, your twin flame in the 5D, you're meeting up. It's interesting, she's in the 3D, he's in the 5D. So it is almost like um, at the moment you might feel like you just want to escape your reality uh, whether, no matter what time of day or night it is, we can see it's night time there, but even in the daytime, like you might just want to be dreaming or daydreaming your day away, okay, because you don't really want to or you're not feeling satisfied with what's going on in your life, in your relationships, in your job, anything right now. You want anything but where you are right now. Now, <clears throat> for those who it is like a twin flame love thing here, um, definitely feels that your heart belongs to your twin, your soul. You're obviously of the same soul. You're feeling that, um, that what's the word I'm thinking of? Well, it's a yearning, isn't it? It's a longing to be in each other's arms, in the physical even, um, together. And you could be dreaming of each other. There's, um, I'm hearing like a melody, like harmony. Uh, there's kind of like that soul frequency, the heart song. Um, that you're being really pulled into and it you know they're both closing their eyes so it's definitely at times when you close your eyes and maybe when you're alone you can really feel your person with you and you feel their love and maybe even their embrace because you know we're all energy regardless of what dimension we're in um, this has really interested me this dragon type uh, reptile kind of looking thing here it could be showing that underneath the surface there could be someone who's trying to come in between you and your, your person, okay? It could be a third-party interference, someone who hasn't got the greatest of intentions uh, trying to drive a wedge between you. And this can be family, this could be a, a romantic partner, an ex-partner, a karmic situation, anything along those lines. Um, and some of you might also be in other connections or other relationships uh, right now where you, you need to learn lessons. It could be soulmate karmic stuff, um, but you're just yearning to be with your number one. And some of you don't even know who that is, but yet you're still in an unhealthy or boring or dull, lifeless relationship right now. And you're, and you're really willing for that magic. You know, you really want that magic and spark um, from somebody. So there could be a fantasizing about someone coming in who is going to bring that for you um, and there's no right or wrong in this everyone's on their own journey everyone's got you know their own reasons for things so it's not anything about judgment at all here what this is saying is that there's an unhealthy or, or uh, an unhappy or unsatisfying or dissatisfying situation right now for some of you where you just don't want to be where you're at right now and you're kind of like fantasizing daydreaming about a better life but sometimes we do tend to 
you know, we want to jump towards something else to fill a void. So just being aware that, okay, maybe that will be great, you know, to be able to connect um, even with the twin, okay, even with the twin, it might not be the right timing because sometimes things can come back at us when before we're meant to do something, okay. So if we do, if we're going into something too prematurely, like if someone's in another connection or married or, or something along those lines, sometimes if we just want to jump into something just to feel that happiness at that moment, could be, you know, even the temptation to get back with an ex. Um, Sometimes when we're, if we're feeling lonely or really um, just not feeling satisfied or happy, uh, we can feel really down and just want that spark in our life, want to be wanted and feel um, that touch, that physical touch um, and have someone hold us, you know, out of loneliness or whatever it might be. It's not always the ideal thing because in the end of the day or at the end of the day, um, you could feel more lonelier than what you were because you're not fully there yet with your healing and recovery. Uh, things like that. Uh, the other people could get hurt in the process. It's all sorts of things that can be involved here. And you yourself could really get hurt at the end of it if this person who also, if there's another person involved in this that um, isn't able to stick around for very long, you know, that's also could actually hurt you in the long run as well. So it's all about timing, all about, um, I think what Spirit is saying, asking you to ask yourself, okay, what is it that I really want? And is it the right time for me to go after this right now? Will it make me happier in the long term? Or is it just something that I want to fill a void with right now? And it could be anything. It doesn't even have to be a relationship. I'm just saying that because that's the main theme of what I feel this is. But it could be anything from an addiction, okay, to something. Um, just, yeah, it could be that you just want to um, do something completely different to what you've done. You might want to cross a line, okay, that uh, wouldn't morally be seen as accepted in that way, but wouldn't be seen as positive. But, you know, this is just, this is just letting you know. It could be something that you drink one night and you have too much alcohol and then you're tempted to text an ex and then, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I've been there. And then what you do is you open up that whole can of worms that if you were sober or in the right mind, you wouldn't necessarily do. So it could actually end up hurting you in the long run. So just being aware of that. Let's see what else comes up here, okay? I nearly fell everywhere, my God. Let's see what else comes up here. And we got the number 19. So the 19 is the is the uh, sun in the in the tarot too. So something could come to light for you, okay? We do see the moon here, but I'm also getting the moon and the sun. So it's that um, illumination where things might seem like an illusion, okay? It does seem like there's an illusion here. Like it's going to illuminate for you uh what something's really about might look great on the surface but really when you when you dive deep into it, it might not be that great after all so it could be something like that as well and look secret admirer suppression resistance shyness for some of you you are actually secretly admiring someone from afar and you're being you're tempted to actually make contact and as I said, there's nothing wrong with making contact, but it depends maybe under the circumstances. Are you with someone else? Are they with someone else? Is this something that is like kind of like a forbidden love, you know, um, or a situation where you just know that you can't cross that line, but geez, you want to, you know, <laughs> that kind of thing. So it could definitely be around that situation, but I feel like uh, if this is a like a love connection, twin flame soulmate, I feel like it's mutual. I feel like they're secretly admiring you as well. And there's a lot of feelings, a lot of passion that's being suppressed right now. A lot of maybe words that need to come out and be said. There's a lot of things going on there. Group two, group two. And there is a shyness. Wowies, where did it go? Must have only been one. It felt like another one came out. But precognition, precognition, psychic ability, future vision. You're definitely psychically connecting. As I said, there's a 5D element here as well in spirit, soul to soul. Okay, this is very soul to soul stuff here. There is a feeling of being lonely at nights. Maybe it's for a lot of you. Well, not even just single people, people who are in a relationship, once again, that's not satisfying them. Um, and you might still love that person. You might be married to them. You might, it might work practically. You might even have a love for each other. But there's a spark here with this one. So precognition, psychic vision, uh, psychic ability, future vision. You see each other in your future. You're visualizing it because you're daydreaming about it. 
And the 13 is also the death card in the tarot, which represents letting go of the past and, and embracing a future. So it does look to me that some of you might actually be in the process of letting go of something so you can follow this pathway towards your person because your heart belongs to this person. That's what it looks like. And their, <clears throat> and their heart belongs to you. And I'm getting the 13, 1 and 4 is also... Uh, sorry, one and three is the four, which is stability. It's the home. That's how I've always seen a number four, like the structure of four walls, boundaries. It's it's security. It's their home, okay? You're home to each other. Um, so it just feels right, but it also feels forbidden in a way. So what does spirit want you to know? So light activation, shine your light. Your internal guidance is coming through loud and clear. So don't hide away from your person. You know, it's not necessarily saying jump in and, and go after them if it's not really the right time. or But don't be afraid to shine your light as to who you are in the world. Shine your light so your person can perhaps navigate their way towards you and let go of things they need to in their life, maybe their fears. Uh, shine your light on your own life. Be able to reflect and look at everything with clear vision here as well so that you can make the right decision in the end. Not just based on um, certain driving factors that are, you know, maybe not well balanced and thought out. This is an imp impulsive thing sometimes with temptation. It's not saying you can't go for it, but it's about the when. I think that's what this is saying is when... Is it going to align? Because they're both in different frequencies here. One's in the 5D, one's in the 3D. So I'm not necessarily saying that's what's going on, but it just shows me there's two things going on here. They're not on the same level just yet, okay? Yes, look at the Ten of Pentacles is the happy home. It's the traditional home. It's the marriage. It's the family security and legacy. And this person, I feel like some of you are married and you do want to let that go, even though there's children maybe involved. So that's something that you have to think about also, like how can you move towards something if there's those ties, okay, or legal connections or, or whatever. Um, even like a lot of people won't leave a marriage, um, even if they are and they're, you know, in love with someone and, they, and their heart belongs to that person, they still will whether it be cultural reasons or, or whatever it is, children there, they will still stay married, you know, to the person. They might not have that spark with that person. They might not really love them as much as they do you, but it's something that's practical and it's something they have committed themselves to and they and some of them don't want to look like the bad person leaving a connection. So, uh, you know, a relationship so or a marriage. So I feel like um, all you can do at this time for some of you is just to embrace each other from afar you know and um, still be able to manifest it visualize your future together bring it to light bring it to action um, not against their own will of course but I don't feel that because I feel like this person does want this and whatever's meant to be will actually fall away you know whatever's meant to fall away will fall away and whatever's meant to stay will stay um, so you know and when there's enough love and passion Love can move mountains. So it says here, stargazing. Look at the moon, full moon. So at night, you're both looking at the stars, thinking about each other. That's what that looks like to me. Um, so when you gaze at the stars, you give yourself fairy focus. Your intuition will flow more freely and reveal what you need to know about your situation. So it's at night time that the answers are going to come to you. So at this point, they're focusing on one another, which is beautiful. But we need to also take our focus back and see the bigger picture. Because at the moment, it could be tunnel vision on each other. But when we're taking a step back and, and expanding our vision and seeing the bigger picture as to perhaps even why things are happening at the moment the way they're happening um, and trusting in the divine, trusting in our own intuition that will guide us along the way as to what we need to do next. I mean, I feel like you guys are dreaming of each other. There's definitely telepathic communication, psychic communication going on here. And I love this card. It's so beautiful. The colors it reminds me of this one too, the purple. 
yeah, and the purple in there as well, the, the indigo colour, which is that third eye. Also very much um, crown chakra, third eyes stuff going on here. So you're connecting in the 5D, in the spiritual realm, and you're both seeing each other in each other's future, even though the, the 3D physical world is very opposite to what you're both wanting in the 5D. So it doesn't mean that it can't come about. It's just at the moment... Um, you, you might be confused about what the hell to do. Do I let this go and just love this person from afar? Sometimes we just got to surrender and let things go. We can't always change what's going on because let's face it, there's other people and karmic contracts involved here. But yeah, you're definitely both, both uh, tempted, secretly admiring each other, loving each other from afar. Looking at the stars and, and thinking about one another, looking at the same moon, the same stars here. Yeah. And the and guidance will come to you about what to do. So embrace change. So someone is afraid to embrace change, perhaps. Um, just go with the flow is what's been said here. Uh, anything can happen at any given time. So if your person needs to pull back or if they've got to move on, you know, it's hard. But it may be just the right thing to do so they can figure things out themselves as well. Um, because I don't think everything's forever with these 3D connections and ties. Anything can happen at any given moment. Yeah. It's not about not losing yourself in the process as well. Some of you might want to have radical change. You might be wanting to do your hair different or buy some nice new clothing or just make yourself feel really good and, and put the focus on you. And ha, renewing your life, clutter, getting rid of the old, radiant vitality is lifting my life or filling my life, but lifting it as well. So it looks to me like you want to let go of things, maybe even to do with this connection or once again, a relationship could be said goodbye to. Um, probably not a nice way to say it's like clutter, <laughs> but yeah, it's like just, it's like that baggage in a way. It's like that emotional karmic tie that some beautiful things can come uh, with it, the memories and things like that, but it's just about being able to let it go, let it go, embrace the change, uh, and maybe outdated ways of thinking, you know, addictions, behaviors, that kind of thing as well too, because when you're doing the same thing time and time again, you get the same results. So if you're changing something about the way you're doing something, then obviously it's going to bring different results. Um, so that's interesting. Let's have a look here. So tough and trying times are ahead. Think long term and make decisions accordingly. Avoid negative people at all costs. So there might be some challenging times coming for you, especially if you are really feeling like, I just want to be with this person. When is this, you know, why is it like this? Why are things not how we want them to be um but it's saying that you know you can get through the t tough times you just need to make um what does it say long term think long term okay not just for the, for the now make decisions accordingly so it's a long decision some some long term some people might move you might feel like do i want to you know is it too painful at times to be around the person you just cannot be with Sometimes it helps to move away from there, even physically. Um, so that could be for some of you that you just need to accept something and move away, move on from it, either emotionally or physically. But spiritually, emotionally, it's very hard to just, you know, break off those feelings or or whatever, put them in a box, you know, you can't really do that. But some of you might definitely want to move, like relocate, so you don't have that constant temptation or pain going in a circle around this person that you just can't be with. Yeah, so I think that's pretty much it with the reading. I think I've chosen everything I need to. I'm just checking. I'm pretty tired at the moment. Um, yeah, that's it, I think, guys. But I really hope that's helped you in some way. I just want you guys to know um, that oh, I need to get another one. I need to get another one. And just know they are thinking of you too, okay? Your person, whether they're here or even in spirit, wherever they might be, they're definitely thinking of you. Look at that circle of eternal joy, timelessness, dance of life. So it's knowing that you share an eternal joy with each other. It's you both in each other's circle, the circle of trust. You both love each other. There is this infinite love for each other. 
and it's timeless in spirit in the 5d there is no time so you constantly are connected all the time and that sounds weird saying that you know there's no time but you're connected all the time um so dance of life just enjoy life go through the motions you know try and uplift your spirit and think positively raise your vibration and 41 4 and 1 is 5 which is all about change it's about being able to dance through the changes um and yeah make the best of a situation and you you just don't ever know like you might hear something from your person where they where their karmic connection or relationship or marriage or whatever that might be or whatever situations keeping them away um, will change you know it can change and, and it can open up a massive doorway for the two of you to meet up and make something work but for a lot of you it may just not be the case right now it's something you just have to embrace and, and accept and change things around your own life move on get strong and yeah know that the love is always there I hope that's resonated guys I love you all and I look forward to connecting with you next time love and blessings